our observers are the eyes and ears of the international community. We are there to record violences and to speak out so that the perpetrators of crimes may be held accountable. And that is what we did after last Friday's massacre in El Hula, drawing on our own unbiased and incontestable evidence. The more the international community knows, the more likely it is that we can advance on our most important goal to help find a political solution, a solution that safeguards the lives and interests of all the Syrian people. With respect to the reported uh, docking of uh, a ship carrying Russian arms, this is obviously of, of the utmost concern given that uh, the Syrian government continues to use deadly force against civilians. Uh, it is not technically obviously a violation of international law since there's not an arms embargo, but it's reprehensible that arms would continue to flow to a regime that is using such horrific and disproportionate force uh, against its own people. Quite simply, it's another blatant lie. Uh, there, there is no factual evidence, including that uh, provided by the UN observers, that would substantiate that uh, rendition of events. Uh, and what has transpired has been uh, clearly documented by the UN monitors on the ground. That's why they're there. And there's not any uh, ambiguity uh, about uh, what was uh, done with heavy weapons by whom and also the, ex the, the uh, characterization of, of the should be a militia being uh, in all likelihood responsible for the door-to-door -door, uh, killing of innocents execution style.